you doing, YouTube? Matt Massa Beer Reviews. Back with a beer I'm beyond excited to actually review. That'd be Tint Meadow. This is their English Trappist Ale. Uh, it's a strong ale brewed by the monks of Mount St. Bernard Abbey. Uh, Sh Sharnwood Forest, 7.4%. Um, those that don't know, Trappist Ales are brewed by Trappist monks. Um, they were pretty much predominantly kind of like... Um, existed in their own kind of bubble you know uh netherlands belgium uh italy you know what i mean they were kind of like in that kind of central europe kind of thing for quite some time um and then uh, you know it was a little bit of shift some kind of opened in and outside of that area and uh you know we had one here we, we still have one here in the united states um and uh and it was not too long ago that these guys actually opened up in uh in england and once they did, I just chomped at the bit to actually try one of these. And I was lucky enough to have my buddy, uh, Adam from Mercy Bears, he sent this off. And uh, I waited a whole, uh, like, 18 hours <laughs> upon holding on to this beer to actually get done and drinking it. So we're talking about doing some joint reviews. This is one of the ones we're talking about. And uh, sorry, we're just not going to do this one joint because I can't help myself any longer. Like I said, 7.4%. Uh, it says this beer is... Um, Beer we have returned to the 19th century tradition of brewing in our abbey. When our brothers arrived in 1835, they settled in a poor cottage on Tint Meadow, uh, now extension of our monotastic enclosure. This strong dark ale re-ferments in a bottle store in a cool, dark, quiet place, pour gently at 9C. This is probably perfect. It's probably right around 48 degrees. And um, yeah, water, barley, malt, sugar, hops, and yeast. So you got water, bar barley, malt, hops, and yeast, core four. Fifth one is your Belgian candy sugar, traditionally a beet sugar. Um, brewed by the monks of Mount St. Bernard Abbey in the UK. And they have on here a date of June 30th. What's that? Oh, we're in June, actually. So that's that's very, um, very cyclical. I don't know the word I'm looking for there. Uh, 2022. More often than not... Um, these brewers are going to put a three-year um, kind of Best Buy date on this. So that puts this at two years old at this point, which I think is about wheelhouse on this. I could be wrong if anybody out there actually knows the um, the date code and how long they have these set for. Uh, more traditionally, Belgian breweries do either three or five. I, it, I, this can't be five. I don't think this, this Abbey is, as far as existing in brewing beer, has been around for five years. So I am going to lean into the three-year theory which makes this beer almost exactly two years old which i think is a, just about wheelhouse for what i assume is a double it looks more like a quad it's a belgian strong dark they call it but you're getting down there in the low sevens that's kind of double range for me but we'll see what's what um it actually has kind of double vibes to it as far as looks go more quaddy vibes um you know it, it, we're gonna sit here and debate um, on what you know, what constitutes a dark, what constitutes a quad, what co constitutes double. Looks more like a quad. All quads are, are Belgian darks, but not all Belgian darks are quads. So we might be leaning in that. Um, Label-wise, one of my more favorite labels. Um, that comes as no surprise for a lot of people. I forgot to lower this. Hopefully, you guys can hear me. Okay. I forget. I always forget to lower this goddamn thing. There we go. Come on. There we go. Better. How about that? How about that? Um, yeah. Uh, one of my more favorite labels, just because it's kind of fucked up a little bit, like kind of beat up and stuff like that, but it's also got this cool cutouts along the bottom, and plus it's rocking the OG Hardy, not OG, new school Hardy shape bottle, so it looks the part of the Belgian Dark, Belgian Quad. Not so much a double. Let's get a nose. That's the good stuff right there, baby. It smells so good. Rich caramelized, brown, bready, Belgian, date and figgy. Deliciousness, man. Man, that smells so good. So good. There's a decent yeast cake on the bottom. There's not a big ring on it, so it hasn't been sitting around forever. It's probably two years old. That's my guess. Yeah, it's just got this nice kind of... It, it's it's a caramelized kind of brown bready thing 
that's that's slowly morphing into a malted malt ball kind of thing. It's not sugar daddy level. It's not raisin any level. The spirit is definitely start, turned into that. But it's taking that traditional kind of red fruit and breadiness and kind of get, getting a little bit more into that rich portion of the show where it gets a little more date and figgy, gets a little bit more caramelly, and gets that kind of richness going. Um, it's not overly sweet. It's a Belgian dark, 7%. Didn't expect it to be super sweet, but there should be a nice kind of dryness to the yeast also. But man, I can huff on this all day. It's not a gigantic nose. It's not a huge nose, but it's Belgian through and through as far as its core. As far as how the yeast comes through, the Belgian candied sugar, more importantly, comes through. Everything here smells authentic Belgian. Somewhere between a double and a quad is kind of how it's coming off for me. So we're just going to dive in. Cheers. Okay. Way less sweet than I thought it was going to be. Like, way less sweet. Not a bad thing, but I expect it to be a little bit sweeter. There's a spiciness to this. Almost like um, like a blackstrap molasses spiciness. It's not that aggressive, but there's something to it. Something tannic. I assume it's the tea. I assume it's a Belgian candied sugar, which is not overly sweet. In combination with a tannic kind of tea. Like an old school kind of... Maybe they use like English hops as opposed to old school, like, you know, Trappist style hops and did something a little bit more of the flora and fauna of what they typically have in England, like, you know, King Golding's Fuggles, things like that. And it's bringing more of that spiciness to it. And that's where I'm getting that kind of blackstrap molasses thing. They're combining that Belgian candy sugar with that kind of spiciness. So I, I like that. I dig it. Out of this world mouthfeel, like soft and creamy and just ooh, almost like, like cool whippy in a sense, is how soft and creamy the mouthfeel kind of comes off. That's delicious. That's delicious. I mean, listen. I cut my teeth on Belgian beer. On Trappist beer. Is, is kind of where I fell in love with beer. You know, that's kind of where, where all that came from. So there's a soft place in my heart for these beers. But I've said this before in other reviews, and I'll say it again. You could view it from two different perspectives. You can be like, he loves these beers. Therefore, he is almost certainly always going to enjoy these beers. Or you could view it differently. Be like, he likes these beers and he likes to... He's drank them so much. He, 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 he the, They have to be really good in order to move me. I can't believe I was speaking in like third person for a half second there. I fall into the mindset of the latter. And I think this is a really well done with a little asterisk... Belgian style, um, it's a quad. It kind of drinks all the parts of a quad. So I'm going to call it a quad instead of a dark. All the parts of a quad. But there is that English, there is that UK, there is that British influence to it. With its hops, it has to be. I would love to know the hops they use in here. I don't think they went traditional. I think they went traditional through and through with the whole beer, but said, we're going to do what we do because this is the hops that we would have avail available to us local locally. And I think they just, they probably even grew their own hops for all I know. And I like it. Is it BJCP like on point? No, because I think those hops kind of take this out of that. If we're classifying it as a quad. But is it delicious? Yeah, because you get that rich core of the beer that's it's malt based and it's belgian belgian candy sugar based the yeast comes through that breadiness comes through that uh, that sweetness comes through not overly sweet but that sweetness comes through it's just that added pop of that bittering that added pop of that tannic tea like kind of hop which is, i attribute to almost all kind of english style beers english barley wines old ales those kind of things in this style of beer i think works and works epically well and just brings that added little level to a beer in a style that I love so much. In a sect. You know, Trappist Tales, that's nothing to mess with, you know. I know a lot of people just eschew it as old guard bullshit, but man, you know, some of the best beers are Trappist beers. And I think this does not diminish that that label, that stamp in any way whatsoever. I think it brings uniqueness and tastiness to, uh, to the Trappist stamp that not a lot of people do. And I think that's a good thing. This is such a great beer. Thank you very much, Harry, for sending this off. Like I said, I was like, yeah, we can review that one together. I was like, <laughs> I'm fucking drinking this tonight. Mm. Man, I gotta stop cursing. Gotta stop cursing. Yeah, review the, the Abbey beer and curse throughout the whole thing. That's smart. 
I loved I love this beer. I think it's fantastic. I would buy this by the case. I'm curious to see how it ages. See how that drop off of those hops kind of maybe opens it up a little bit, comes a little bit sweeter. Fantastic beer. Done and done. Um, yeah, so let's recap the beer real quick before we go into the whole spiel. Less sweet than what you expect from a quad. I'm calling it a quad. But not under sweet, just less sweet. Nice kind of caramel notes, nice kind of brown sugar notes, nice little kind of date and figgy notes. Again, muted in the, to a certain extent to where it's not over the top. Now it feels to die for. Um, there's this bready component that you pretty much is kind of needed, I think, when it comes to every Belgian quad you ever have. In order to call it Belgian quad, candy sugar's on point. I don't know if I said that already. And the, the piece de resistance is, is the way the hops work in this, that old English style way it comes off for me you know can golden fuggly kind of spicy canic kind of hoppiness just takes this beer and not just changes it in a fun way i won't say a better way in a fun way but kind of cements it as an english trappist ale as opposed to just a trappist ale and i think that's a very very tasty but yet smart but also what's the word honor it has honor i don't know it's just tasty beer. Is it one of the better Trappist ales I've had as of late? Yes. It's one of the better Belgian style beers I've had as of late. Is one of the better Belgian style quads? Again, I'm calling it a quad. Yes. Is it Mount Rushmore status? I kind of want to put it on there. I don't know. As of late, yes. All time, no. You know, I mean, there's some that, that do me better than this beer. But as of late, I don't remember a ton of, you know, quads that have ever really even, even darks if I just kind of opened it up to that window. It's tasty. And I dig it. Let's put it that way. Um, value and availability, no idea. Adam, this is on you. And leave you with, if you like what we like this beer. If you like Belgian beers, man. I mean, honestly, it's really just kind of... If you dig those beers, you'll dig these. But with the added twist, if you like like old school English style hops and you want to taste what those two taste like together, that'd be your boy or girl or they or them. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Down there if you want to talk about it. Massive beers if you want to check me out doing the social media stuff. Beer Massif. You want to check me out doing the whole podcasting thing? Go check out Adam Mercy Beards. Mercy Beards. Just type it in. I'll put it in the thing. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully, you're enjoying a little bit of uh, English Trappist Dales right now. Hopefully, see you next time. Cheers. <laughs>